Richmond. This marks the third time a Jacksonville officer has been shot in the line of duty this year, the highest rate in at least a decade. News for Jacks reporter Ann Maxwell is joining us live from the Police Memorial Building with more on what law enforcement veterans believe is behind this trend. Kent, certainly just another sad and upsetting day for everybody here at JSO. The incidents this year where officers have been hurt on the job might have seemed like relatively low risk situations, but anybody who's worked in law enforcement will tell you there's no such thing as a routine call. In a follow up to a burglary in January. Let me see your hand. The suspect dead. I've been hit. An officer's face grazed by a bullet. A few months later, an officer trying to follow up on a traffic stop was met with gunfire. He was left in critical condition. The suspect died by suicide. Now, a third JSO officer has been shot this year, hit in the face while responding to a suspicious person. The suspect in this case was also killed when officers returned fire. This is our fifth officer involved shooting this year. Our third officer this year has been shot. Now, that is something that I've never seen in the 32 years or 31 and a half years that I've been working here. News for Jack's data shows no more than two JSO officers have been shot in any year since 2007. Until now, less than five months into 2023. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Lakeisha Burton says it's alarming. She spent more than two decades with JSO, retiring as an assistant chief last year. It's very disturbing and, you know, out raging, you know, and our community should be too. In another case from February, a fourth officer was knocked unconscious responding to a shoplifting call at the Walmart on Phillips Highway. Burton notes the FBI has identified two major reasons behind violence against law enforcement. Number one, you know, subjects are shooting at the police because they want to evade or escape arrest. They don't want to go to jail. But secondly, sadly, it's because people hate the police. But law enforcement supports their own, as seen in this video from the officer beaten at Walmart being released from the hospital. Burton says the community needs to come together and recognize violence against anyone is intolerable, law enforcement included. Those incidents where law enforcement pulled the trigger, uh, the state attorney's office is investigating, as is standard protocol. A spokesperson with the sheriff's office tells us the officer put in critical condition uh, when responding to or following up on rather that traffic incident, as well as the officer beaten at Walmart, are both on the road to recovery. Live downtown and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.